been a long fucking ride. You really me. has. And uh, I'm actually, I feel the same excitement I felt when I did like the first year type of episodes, uh, the first year round of episodes of High and Hungry uh, when we were doing this initially. And I know it's not the same thing because we still have to wear face diapers, but right. You know, I'm I'm so thankful that today we get to experience this and we acted fast on this. So before we go any further, I want to let you know that today we're going to be hitting up to quote my crazy friend Will Knott's Berry Farm. We are going to be going to the Boysenberry Festival. I don't know if they did it twice because of the whole pandemic shit. Right. But uh, what is it? They're doing it, uh, you know, what is it, springtime? Yeah, it was springtime. Yeah, so it's yeah. springtime, and you know, all, all the berries start blossoming, all the fucking uh, flowers and all that shit. Damn, I started thinking about, like, what am I going to take home today? Because last time I got those uh, big salad dressings and the and the vi- vinaigrettes, the boysenberry vinaigrettes, and that shit, man, that really is some of the best shit to make salads with at home. So I'm stoked because I'm pretty sure well, I'm going to try to eat everything. I cannot wait to, like I said, I, can't dr- I, I cannot wait to drink a lot of the boysenberry punch. Uh, I'm a, sure. I have a very big sweet tooth, but I like that we're going into a group. Listen, if you're going to do something like this, I really recommend you guys, you guys do this uh, as a group to experience everything because you want the tapa, the tapas type of fucking uh, effect mm-hmm. where like every like if we get a, a, a sandwich link, a boysenberry sausage link sandwich, for example, what? we can cut it into three pieces and we're all doing a little quick review. Oh. You know what I mean? We all get to enjoy it and we don't waste all the bites like that. You so said, what boysenberry sausage? What? Yeah, boysen no boysenberry bread. It's just on a, on an apple and chicken uh, link in there. So it's man. All right, I'm ready. Also, a big, right now, big thank you to Puffco for sending me. Uh, you know, and the rest of the crew here. Yeah, uh, thank you. I, yeah, I don't have mine's not pictured, but thank you. I've been using mine like a motherfucker. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Oh. We don't know who we're gonna run into because. <coughs> <laughs> I did kind of uh, <coughs> say, hey, if you want to go say what's up, <coughs> get tickets. <That's> <coughs> I, you know, is. sometimes, last time last time Crazy Will joined us. Dude, I'm down. Will's, uh, I, I love Will, man. He's cool as fuck. So we're get, we're going to go ahead and see uh, if anybody else actually shows up. So <laughs> I, we got some shit rolled. I just took some joints. But let me take the second and tell you about my friends at 450 Indie Craft Brewery and my friends at Craft Beer King. <coughs> I actually fucking need some to calm down from the coughing, you know, because, like, oh, I got to be careful. I got this white shirt. I was like, whoa. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's not, <laughs> yo. White shirts attract everything. <coughs> anytime, anytime you open one of these beers, a little piece of advice, you got to do a bomb shelter on it, bro. A little bomb shelter on it. You know what I mean? Get that shit on your hands, not your shirt. But let me tell you about my friends at uh, 450 slash Indie Craft Brewery out of Indiana. They make these fruit smoothie beers. And they're re- look at this. Even the fucking bitch-ass mosquitoes are coming in here. Fucking bitch. One of the only very few places to have them out here in SoCal is Craft Beer Kings, La Habra, and El Monte. Those are the places. Uh, the home of the Be Real, Dr. Green Thumb, uh, Craft Beer Kings collabs. Uh, the home of my future collabs with uh, the High and Hungry and Craft Beer Kings. And uh, my collab with this company as well, too. So wait, make sure you check them out. And make sure you guys download Craft Beer Kings. And uh, get a craft beer delivered to your door. Literally, you don't have to do anything. There's a couple of states that fucking suck balls and don't play by the rules, but Damn. you know what I mean? Fuck that. You know? Harsh. Fuck Utah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, so we made it to, uh, I guess, the first entrance of the park. It's a pretty busy day over here, uh, so it's kind of cool to see a lot of people out. Uh, it's kind of, that's the hardest part to, like, figure out what to, tr- what to you want to go ahead and try. So we're going to try to go ahead and get different, get into different lines and bring it all together in one, you know, one taste so we can have a sit down and show you what we, what we get our hands on. So, uh, let's see what, let's see what they have to offer here. Oh, boys. Stoked. Yeah, Let's yeah. go! This is our first stop, so we decided to go ahead and come to the area where you used to be able to buy Ghost Rider. But uh, that's usually around where uh, the bakery's at. You know, they have like they have bakeries everywhere around here. Like it's like they have little baked goods. Those you know, stands will have it, but it's always good to get it where they have the bakery. You know, what I mean, where they have the actual bakery. What I decided to go with today was the Boys and Mary bread pudding. I've always been a fan of bread pudding. My mom introduced me to this dessert, so uh, you know, I've, it's kind of been ingrained yeah. in my head. And it's cool that they have a Boys and Mary twist on it. So I'm gonna let you guys know what it is. See, minus what did you? decided to go with? I decided to go with the boysenberry cake. It's got boysenberry cream cheese frosting on it. So, being the stoners that we are, we decided to start with the sweets. That looks like, you know, like, like, like where, you grow, where you grow up, like, white corn. 
like, this is the best like you know, I've yeah, it's like I made you this cake, son. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and try. So look at this. Bad little bitch. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna try this. Yo, this is like, bro. This is like perfect breakfast time. I mean, first of all, I've been having this for breakfast. Might be a bit too much. I can't really taste the boysenberry in it yet. This moisture, bro. That, that noise. Bro. Boysenberry cream cheese frosting. Oh. oh, that's cream cheese frosting? Mm hmm. Feel free to try this. Let me try that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like if I was a little mouse. A <laughs> little, little slice. Happy birthday, bro. Yo, that shit is. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. Still. Oh, sorry, fam. Moisture on there. It's just like. Yeah, Jake. Gotcha. All right. Yo, bro. That's right? funny. Yeah. Right. You think it's, it's like, like some regular Betty Parker shit, but it's not. It's not, dude. You can just taste it. Like it's just got the perfect, the, the perfect cream cheese frosting. It's got that boysenberry like twist. That's so. And the cake is mo it's moist and uh, delicious. So if you have a sweet tooth and you want to make that first stop, make your way down to like where the Ghost Rider line used to be at, and there's a bakery right there, and you can go ahead and find your sweets. You know, unless you're a little faded like myself, but you're gonna need something to drink because this shit is, uh, it makes you thirsty. So I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna hit the bar yet, but <laughs> I'm gonna figure this out right here. This is fire. I think this was the cake for me. to the second stop over here you know what I mean we're, everybody's using their <laughs> fucking little bulletin shit cause we're just trying to try some of the craziest shit I'm gonna end up buying some shit too cause you can't just you can't because we're in a group you end up trying a little bit of everything and yeah. I guess right now we got the boysenberry uh, link with the boysenberry mustard boysenberry Ooh. bun and it's a uh, chicken and apple uh, sausage sausage link and you also got the elote with uh, boysenberry. the boysenberry mayo and the queso which is purple and uh, white like regular so I'm gonna have to cut this I mean up getting one of these on my own, I know it. Mm. With a little egg on top for breakfast. Mm. We talking like a fried egg or what? Sunny side up with the yolk. Oh, oh. yep. I can see myself eating this for breakfast or lunch. Great mm -hmm. job. Great job, Knox. Uh, fuck with this. This is a. Uh, this, this is definitely one of the things that. You know the piece of shit there that fucking took forever to make it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking gave me a bunch of attitude. Fucking hate that, you know. <laughs> uh, still love knots though. Yeah, we love. Uh, <laughs> however, though, I was like, this is definitely a good fucking sandwich, though. You can taste the boysenberry in it. The mustard. I, I wish there was a little more. But uh, next, I'm gonna get one. This is. What side do you want, Chris? Ah, oh, you gonna use the fork too? Oh, for the, to hold it. It's gonna break. Cheers. That's how you do it. I went to school. You know, after school, fucking buy these. Oh, this is money, bro. Oh, oh yeah. The boys are very fucking. Uh, oh my god. Elote man needs to get on his game, bro. Did the Elote man had these? Game over. The corn could be roasted a little, little more. Yeah, you know, it's like, you know, it's like very, uh, it's not up to, like, the way we do it, yeah. you know? Good, though. We didn't do the agua fresca because I'm going to get a beer. But goddamn, this corn is great. All right, so you're hearing a little bit of peony up in there, and uh, we're here at my favorite part, the bar. His favorite part. Newbie is not here today, though. The guy that looks like the fat fool from Jurassic Park in Seinfeld is yeah. not here. We don't, I don't know. So we're gonna cook the cake back for the boysenberry cosmos. C minus is gonna definitely uh, carry the other one out <laughs> so I can drink two of them. That's how you do it, y'all. You tell your sober friend. Things I do for my friends. I don't know who this is. <laughs> oh shit, you're recording? 
Yeah, so get ready for that Cosmo, bro. <laughs> I really came looking for Newman, but Fuck he's not working. Man. Yeah, dude. Here we are. He usually works here. He probably doesn't like being called Newman. The last time I told him the other ones, the other dude to work out, I was like, "You ever seen Jurassic Park?" He was like, "Dude, stop right here." Yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all. We're here in the midst of all this fucking noisiness, but we're right next to the fucking bar, and that's the beauty of it. C minus, thank you for helping me carry this fucking drink all the way out. Oh man, you know, friends do, right? This is what you do when you know your friend is sober. Nah, I'm not gonna take both of them. Fuck that, dude. They're gonna come over here and be like, "Excuse me, sir." Sir. <laughs> The double fisting is not allowed you're, in the you're park. You're gonna have to get the fuck out. You're gonna have to come fuck down, sir. Yeah, but this is a boysenberry uh, Cosmo. What do you got, C minus? Uh, I just got a, a boysenberry smoothie. And uh, it's like a slushy, but with like boysenberry. So, uh, you oh, know. this has vodka. Oh, yeah. Well, that's usually what a cow's pop does have. Has Look at this. You gonna fucking tell me the truth, bitch? <laughs> you gonna fucking tell me where the rest of you... <laughs> where the rest of your friends are? Sorry, he has to come to this. <laughs> fucking bitch. So this one tastes like a blueberry sl- slushy. Or a boysenberry slushy. Let me tell you, this is blended beautifully. Mm. I can only imagine. You know, I one day wish that you can like walk, or you can walk around smoking cigs like I walk around drinking. Yeah, you can't smoke here though. Like, remember how you used to? Like, in every, in every airplane? Yeah. That was fucking the liberty I knew of America. Bro. When I first <laughs> when I first started flying, I used to see like the, you know, the side. Did you ever smoke an airplane? No, no. no I was I'm not that. Fuck you, I'm not. That's <laughs> He's like, fuck you. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, uh, you know, sometimes it's not a designated area, but I've seen a couple places that have this. Uh, it's the brisket mac and cheese. Right? Yeah, brisket is barbecue. Yes, the boysenberry barbecue brisket mac and cheese. What's boysenberry about it though? I think it's in the so- it's in the meat. Let's How about those onions for you though? I know, right? Look at that. Oh, let's see what's up with it. The onions give it a nice little burst of flavor for me. The meat with the mac and cheese is great. It doesn't taste like low budget. Like uh, it doesn't taste like uh, like cheap meat either. You know what I mean? Mm-mm. Like it doesn't taste like Burger King. <laughs> no, or like fucking something fast food. I drop everything. Now I want to see what's up with the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is kind of like hometown buffet-ish. Oh, I could fuck that up, bro. I gotta stop at two bites. That's way too much. But I'm going for the third though. This is a definitely a must. Three people, two oh, people. Man. You can go ahead and share this. Get a quick little bite. It's a savory one. The brisket mac and cheese is fucking a one. That's a winner right here. Yeah, I even ate an onion and it still tasted good. You ate an onion? Yeah. Yeah, I'm proud of you, bro. Thanks. I like Philly cheesesteaks. You like Philly cheesesteaks? I do. But this is a Philly cheesesteak fries with the boysenberry onions, sauteed onions. I know you don't like. I don't like onions, but it still doesn't, you know. As weird as that sounds, it fucking goes good together. Boysenberry onions, it gives you like a little sweet and sweet and savory taste. You know how like um, not sweet and sour, but it just works in a weird way, dude. Yeah, I'm not trying the onions part because that's a little too big of onions for my taste. But the the chili, the Philly cheesesteak with the fries is all good. But you got white cheese. I definitely recommend this if you like Philly cheesesteaks. You know what I mean? If you're already used to the Philly cheesesteak ingredients and you like onions, which they go on Philly cheesesteaks, this is the one. It's definitely something you want to share with about two to three people. Though. Absolutely. These are fried mac and cheese bites Ooh. over tater tots with boysenberry uh, sriracha kitsch, uh, sir, sir, what is the sriracha? Yeah, ketchup. It's like, your, it's like your pee hole after you finish Jizzy. That's like when you. That's like when you stuff uh, something down your pee hole and it comes out like that. What is this exactly? What's so different about this ketchup? What is that shit? This is fried mac and cheese. Oh. Bits. And this is boysenberry ketchup. All right. With a hint of uh, sriracha. In it. It's like Doritos 3D, but like warm. Oh, that's funny. Oh yeah. That's sweet and savory. This is definitely a fucking stoner go-to. 
Ooh, savor. That's my good. Get one, Ray. Get in there. Let it all out. <laughs> Let it all hang out. <laughs> so, to give you guys an update, we were running around the park. We did the first initial hot spots, but what I kind of realized is that if you show up early, there's not, there's no need to rush to go table to table and hold it and all this shit because there's a limited amount of tickets and there's a limited amount of tables around there to serve those people that bought tickets. There's no need to rush, to rush it through. So we're no. going about, we're doing a second row right now. I don't know if I'm gonna go to the bar again. <laughs> uh, there's some fucking places that uh, they have the similar items, uh, like True. the like the mac and cheese and, the, and the, with the brisket on top. That usually is available wherever they have beer. But, uh, and then like the diner spot, like the burger shit or like the pizza, there's like a couple of places that have them like that. This is good, is it pass or no pass? High hunger pass or no Oh, pass? for sure. Some mac and cheese bites with the boysenberry ketchup. For sure, for sure. And the tots on top or underneath. Put that in the burrito. <laughs> So I got this beer battered, uh, what is it? I guess, beer no, cheese soup. beer cheese soup, which is kind of crazy. It's like a whole fucking dip made of fucking cheese, bro. It's, I'm gonna end up constipated after here, bro. It's kind of cheesy. I like the cheese part, but there's a little drizzle on there. It's not good. That's a miss for me. Damn. I got the boysenberry pie slice with whipped cream. And uh, yeah, let's give this a shot. See how good. That's a pretty good slice of pie, I gotta say. It's like barbecue. Hey, you wanna yeah. try some of the pie? No, you could have done it a little bit. Better with putting this one together. It's uh, it's great. Like, maybe if you would have had this and something to dip into the cheese. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that just looks really messy. It just looks like a bunch of cheese. Yeah. Then you have the fucking cap over here. That's the yeah. Uh, like, what am I gonna do? Red Bull. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, sourdough, bro. Dip that shit in the cheese, bro. We're playing. I can see that working together. But I definitely, uh, I, you know, you, I, I would definitely expect a little better next time, Nats. No offense, respectfully. <laughs> it's like when you stick your finger in a vagina. Very slowly, because you're working your way up in there respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> Where you're trying to fist someone, and you're like two or three will get it fucking eased up. Oh, respectfully. Respectfully. <laughs> that shit is tremendous right there. Right? Good job, notes. <laughs> <laughs> Bad job. Good oh, job, yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, fam. Yeah, you know I'm going in for a second bite, bitch. As you should. Some of this ma bitch ass macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> bitch ass macaroni. Not even on a sick one, dude. Yeah. How the fuck you cut this spoon, dog? Dude, cut it. You don't have a knife. It's right there. That's a fucking spoon. Break it. Break it with your hands, bro. You did oh. the corner. Oh, but you ruined it. Look at this Dr. Purple Thumb. <laughs> this is not gonna end. This is not the bo body of Christ. Well, yeah. All right. I got Anything that's a big ass block of Christ, you know. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my fork to like get a little piece. Like, oh, oh. Hymns. No. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> if you ever wanted to eat a pastel crayon, <laughs> like you know the pastel ones, mm -hmm. that, that's like the same texture that's in the middle. I like the taste of it though. It's pretty bomb. It's like the crayon that tasted good. Wow. <laughs> So for my high hungry throwback people, I can't really speak without the mask because this is like a mask zone, but I've said this before, this is the only theme park. Aside, I mean, you can say Disneyland or Disney California Adventure if you want to, but 
it's not that accessible like this. This is the only place where you can get a fucking steak. It's quality steak, you know, with the with the ceiling cap that, you know, with the quality, as much as quality could go at a theme park where you can get a steak in here. This is what the regular menu is, the Ghost Town Grill. And I mean, you can literally get a whole meal over here. If you have like, it's worth it if you have like a, uh, what is it, like a, a annual pass. You come in here, have a little lunch steak if you work across the street or something like that. It's definitely worth it. You know, you come in here, fuck around a little bit, get on a ride real quick. It's the only one of the only theme parks where you can get a decent steak up in here. Just want to point that out. You know, that's not open during this time, but it is what it is. <laughs> All right, so they told me that I couldn't get anything uh, covered in here with my five taste of uh, that I pay with my, <laughs> that I pay over here. But this is the Knott's Berry Farm uh, brothel house. So as you can tell, you look at the red light bulb for all the people on my wheels out there. Uh, <laughs> you get yourself a red bottom shoe prostitute. At this spot, and uh, oh, oh they're getting a little action over here. Oh, oh, oh. we gotta keep it PG. Oh, he gotta he blurred out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, this a lot of people don't know this, and it's right next to the fucking jail, bro, where a lot of people are at. I don't know. Let's go. Hey, take, take, no, you get herpes in there, bro. For my last item, I decided to get try these funnel fries because I wanted to try funnel the funnel cakes again, but not really commit to a whole entire funnel cake. So um, it's got some white chocolate and then uh, wasn't berry in there. So let's see. Well, tastes like as you imagine. Delicious, if I might say so. What's your favorite part about it? Combination of the powdered sugar with the boysenberry and the funnel fry. The taste of all of it together is just as good as a fresh made funnel cake. Wow. Hey, look, it's freeze on. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so we're right here by the Knott's Berry Farm fictional cemetery. It's the end of the road for a lot of those folks. It's the end of the road for us here. It looks like we're about to get hit by some fucking rain over here. Kind of looks crazy. that way. Uh, even though the sun's out and we're over here still shining. Still got the good lighting now. By the shitters. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, and uh, I guess to, to finish it off, we fucking uh, tried off uh, this. Uh, <laughs> exactly how it happened. Yeah. That's how he felt about it. Uh, to finish it off, we're trying this, uh, what is it, Icy Float, which is yeah, pretty fucking good because in the bottom, it's kind of like the Costco one, fucked I, a regular ice cream float, you know what I mean? <laughs> and created this, but with boys and berries. So salute to, uh, salute to everybody who uh, tuned into this episode. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget yeah. to hit that subscribe. Mm -hmm. For all the High and Hungry merch, this limited edition, make sure you follow High and Hungry TV on Instagram and highandhungry.shop or flavorsbyezone.com and get all your limited edition merch I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as we have. It felt good to get out, take my mask off, and feel like I'm raw dogging it and shit. <laughs> raw dogging life. Yeah, raw oh, dogging. Oh yeah, life. I can take this off for a second. Yeah, show me your face, dog. <laughs> Yo, thanks everyone for watching and hanging out with me on Twitch in the mornings, 9:30 a.m. at C minus Fan Four. Also, you can visit djc-minus.com where I got hoodies and shirts and mixes up for sale. So uh, djcminus.com. Uh, thanks for watching all the High and Hungry podcasts, the In High Fidelities, the Dr. Green Thumb uh, mix show. And uh, yeah, definitely see you uh, sooner than later. This is fucking fire. I think I'm going to get some chicken.